What is up guys, Blue Sun JRPGs here, back with another video. This time talking about Shin Megami Tensei 5, or the announcement of Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, this will be coming out at an unknown date for the Nintendo Switch, and only the Nintendo Switch unfortunately. Um, still gonna pick that up. Uh, but you know, I love the Shin Megami Tensei series. I love the Persona series in general. Um, you know, what I specifically love about these series is that they take such a unique perspective on the JRPG. Where you see most JRPGs like the Tales series, or even Final Fantasy to a lesser extent, they just coat everything in an anime aesthetic. So even though things might be seriously fucked up with the world, um, it always has that cutesy and fairy tale look to it. Which I definitely love that in some games. You know, I like I like coming to these games to have an escape from reality. Um, but I also want I also want the opposite side of that too. And that's always been where Atlas and Shin Megami Tensei and Persona have come in. And this game definitely looks to carry on that great tradition. Now the last game I played in the series was actually uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne um, for the PlayStation 2. Um, and obviously, Shin Megami Tensei 4 came out for the 3DS. And that's one of the things I'm most interested in seeing. I want to see how they transition from the last game being a portable-only game to the Nintendo Switch, where the game is not only portable, but also on a TV. So I'm really interested to see how they actually take the gameplay on that. Are they going to change it up a lot, or are they going to kind of stick with the same formula? Um, I personally can't imagine them going to like a... Like a real world open to open um, game combat system like a Final Fantasy XV. I can't imagine that. But you never know with that list. Um, I personally hope they stick with a traditional format. Um, it seems like they have that pretty much um, nailed down pat. Um, and they really seem to be the masters of that. So I'd like to see it um, stick like that. And we need more games like that nowadays. You know, and the one thing I just don't understand is why is this game not coming to the PlayStation 4 or the Vita? Um, you know, there's a massive, massive... Um, following of Atlas on the PlayStation. Uh, massive JRPG audience on the PlayStation. Probably the biggest of any system. Definitely bigger than Xbox One. So I just don't get why it's not coming to that. It seems like it would do gangbusters there. I don't know if there's some sort of um, agreement with Nintendo or a contract with Nintendo that Atlas is going to provide them a certain amount of games in exchange for some amount of money. Who knows? Um, but it's a little disappointing. And like I said, I don't have the Switch. But you know, I'm really thinking about getting this right now. Uh, there are just so many games out there that are starting to pique my interest. Whether it be Octopath Traveler, um, Lost Sphere, I Am Setsuna, um, the physical release, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, um, Shimigami, Shimigami Tensei 5 now, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey. It's starting to get to that point where, you know, I am getting pretty interested in the Switch. If I can get a good bundle before Christmas time, I might use some of my holiday bonus on that. Um, I'm not sure. I got one of my buddies at work is really trying to sell me on a PlayStation VR. You know, I just don't know about the VR. It seems like there's a lot of things on it that I may not even play. Uh, and and I'm, always, I'm always a little skeptical of VR. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend more than 30 minutes at a time playing it. I just feel like I'm going to buy the thing and use it for once and then just sit it on my shelf. Which there's way too much stuff in my collection right now. I already do that too. Um, but you never know. I might just I might just hold off on the Switch another year and just buy a bunch of more PlayStation 3 games. I mean PlayStation 4 games. Can't can't go wrong with that. Still gotta get the Dot Hack series. Ugh. Um, so many games in my backlog though. But either way, guys, just wanted to do a quick video on this. Obviously, we don't know too much about it right now, so I can't really say too much on it. Just if you guys haven't played any of the Shin Megami Tensei series, um, go out there. Especially Nocturne. Nocturne was an unbelievable game. Um, even going back further than that, always been a great series, guys. Um, but massive, massive thanks for checking out all the videos. Really appreciate all the support for everything, guys. Getting so close to 300 subscribers. It's been an unbelievable journey. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to talk on next. Um, without further ado, guys, though, peace out.